for this project you are going to need a pair of skinny jeans and another pair of jeans or in my case a pair of jeans that have been cut so I've got the bottom end of a pair of jeans that I had in another project so what we are going to create is this amazing pair of fringe jeans aren't they just cute? Place a marker, which I've indicated with a pin, and it's roughly about my knee level, in the middle of my knee. This is where it's going to start, the fringing, all the way down to the hem. So here are the cutoffs from another pair of jeans. I'm going to turn these inside out in order to cut. So I will be cutting along this seam and saving this top stitching, because it's so gorgeous. pair of scissors and I'm going to cut a little bit away from this chain stitch that's happening here, this dark one. I'm going to save this bit because it's a good idea to keep these, especially when it's denim, these little trims. It will definitely come useful in denim projects or other projects as well. The seams have now been cut away, so we need to work on the right side. Fold it like so. And then we're going to start creating those fringing. Get a pair of scissors. I'm going to start here, I think. I think I'm going to make my first cut here and then just keep cutting, cutting, cutting until I get to this end here. It doesn't have to be accurate, really. The fringing is cut and it looks scrumptious. Okay, let's bring in the jeans. And I'm going to place the side seam of the other jean onto the side seam of these jeans. So that's where my pin comes to. I would have preferred it to go all the way down, but it is a pair of cutoffs. So I'm working with what I have. So it's going to become part of this jean, which I'm so excited about. That really looks nice. So in order to keep this in place, I'm going to be using some Wonder Web, which is, all it is is a glue. It is, it, it's glue on both sides and it's a bit like, um, how just, it's webbing kind of effect that it's got to it. So once you apply heat, it melts. So I'm going to fold that in half, place it on the spine of this seam here, this flat fell seam. And then we're going to pin it into position and then press. And it's almost there. One more stage to go. Now for the news flash. Yes, you got it. Hand sewing. Yeah, the Wonder Web is only 
allowing it to stay in position it's not strong enough to stay there by itself um, maybe there are other glues out there that could possibly do that um, I don't have any so as you know I am a sucker for hand sewing <laughs> um, uh, so yeah so the next thing to do in order to keep that in place you're going to have to do some hand sewing now my tip here is that turn on your favorite podcasts watch your favorite tv program or whatever you do in order to feel a little bit more relaxed and then get your needle and thread and start some hand sewing so what i'm going to be doing here is some slip stitching and also some overcasting stitching which i'm going to show you now it is in place the fringing that looks so cute so it's only temporary we're going to need to do some hand sewing it's not strong enough to keep it in place so hand sewing is going to be required you're going to need a double threaded hand sewing needle a knot at one end and you're going to do an overcasting stitch on each end here and then down the sides you were doing a slip stitch And these are them. They are nice. They're cute. When you walk. Oh. Yes. I'll stop now. They look and feel amazing. I really am so pleased with the way they turned out. There's one thing I've got to mention though, that I think I would have changed it, the, the approach, the process just a little bit, and that's a good thing about hand sewing, and it's very therapeutic, it gets you thinking creatively, that I probably would have cut back fringing at the last stage rather than the first stage. That's the only thing. But I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and please do share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.